Good evening, welcome back. Uh, tonight I'm doing some languini with some nice king prawns I've got. Um, and I'm going to do a uh, Sicilian dressing with it. Um, so basically what I've got, I've got two tomatoes I've cut into quarters, put into the food processor. Just to say while I'm doing this I've got some almonds just toasted in the pan at the back. I've got um, a little bunch of uh, basil in there. I've got one clove of garlic. I'm just going to chop that up. Juice of one quarter of a lemon. There we go. 50 millilitres of rapeseed oil. On the back there, in the back, I've got some. Um, Languini cooking away, it takes 8 to 10 minutes, boiling hot, hot salted water. Right, so I'm just going to whisk this together to make the pesto. Oh no, sorry. I've got to do a little bit more. There we go, started off. Got my toasted almonds in the pan there. Just put those in. to it. And there we go. That's the actual Sicilian pesto I've made. Heat another uh, non stick frying pan up. So, this pesto is going to be the sauce. So, we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to pan fry the king prawns to begin with uh, about three to four minutes. Um, get them all uh, nice and cooked through. Oh, then, we're going to, uh, then we're going to add the pesto to it, squeeze the lemon, put the um, drained languini off. Add languini into the sauce. If the sauce is a bit too thick, save some of the starchy water and uh, that can incorporate a bit more of a sauce and more of a starch. If you haven't got languini, you can do it with penne, fusilli, any kind of pasta, that would be good. Some bowls out, let's get these in the oven to warm up. Right. Okay, so there we've got about 200 grams of uh, raw prawns, king prawns. These prawns to go a little nice pink colour. I know they're cooked. Probably take about yeah, about three minutes at the max. Let's 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook the prawns for about two minutes and I'm going to add the sauce. Um, that's going to go in with the prawns and cook that for a minute and so cook all the bitterness out as well. See the prawns are going quite pink now. 30 seconds on those, that'll be cool. Minute left on the online greeny. Obviously the other way you can test it is this needs a little bit of a bite, it's called al dente. So just take a little bit out, try it. People do chuck it on the wall, stick it on the wall. Okay, what I'm going to do is incorporate this sauce now, the pesto sauce, in with the prawns. There we go, there's a timer for the lamb meat. Don't want to waste anything. Nice good spatula there. Okay, some the timer off. And green off. Go. When you drain it, you want to catch some milk if you do it quickly and catch it underneath. Like so. Keep some of the liquor in there. And another squeeze of lemon now into the old pesto mixture and prawns. Put it to for garnish. Okay. Smell the almonds coming out from the sauce now. Quite nice. Right, we're going to get the languini in now. Incorporate it to the sauce, get it all nicely coated evenly. And add a little bit more liquor to it to make the sauce. So what we do is a nice little twist with this, a bit of a garnish. Early in one of my other recipes that I made, I made some uh, wild garlic pesto. That's been in there about a month now, it lasts absolutely ages. You use that as a garnish. Okay, we're all ready to rock and roll. Okay. As you see, everything's incorporated now into the dish. Just going to portion it out now. I'm in this dish, what, 10 15 minutes? The old, look at the colour of this. Look, go right into that. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Wild garlic from Overby Estate. Just drizzle some of that over. You can freeze this at pesto sauce as well. There we go. Languini with king prawns with a Sicilian twist. Thanks for watching.